Hello, I'm Julie Kay, and this is the first after the introductory video of our topic on self-care. And if you missed my series on the five and five exercise, it, it this plays into the self-care, but we'll get to that later. Um, so I chose to address the physical um, part, the physical pillar of our life or um, tip or um, area of our life, if you will, to start with. Now, that may be the most obvious to a lot of you, or some of you, or to any of us, but it sometimes it's the least worked on by definitely some people. So yes, it, but it can be the most crucial, so that's part of why I'm starting with it. So maybe you think, oh, why are you addressing the physical? That's more obvious to me. We're all different. Right, and sometimes we just need to uh, re. We need to focus in on one of, one of these areas more than another, because of the situations in our life, or um, to be preventative, or because it's out of balance. So I don't know if I mentioned that in the introductory video, but part of the goal of self care is to bring balance back into your life and help you not to burn out, not to be depressed, and so forth. Now with the physical. Literally, okay, just as an example, you're, you're plowing forward, doing, you know, working towards a great work goal, and you just can't wait to do this certain event or what have you, or you're getting ready for vacation, whatever it would be, right? And all of a sudden you get sick and your body just goes down. Now that to me proves that, I mean, can you go forward with it? You might have to quit your whole goal or not work, or not be able to go on your vacation, or whatever it is, it could literally put you out and make you miss something really important in your life. So it's not your your will or your thoughts that you're trying to get sick. It, it happens, and it shows the importance of that because literally we can have all the other areas right, but if we're down and out, it can stop and hinder us, right? If we get hurt, um, we break our leg, we're down and out for a while, or may not be able to do something, etc. Right? So that is the importance of the physical, of our physical body. Okay, it's very important, but it's not the only thing that's important, but it is very important. So just, and I also, again, want to reiterate that every area that I'm addressing affects each other. So the physical area definitely affects all the rest. And if nothing else, it can hinder goals we have in those other areas because of how we're feeling or physical conditions we have or sickness, what have you. But also the others affect our physical body. So I wanna make sure I emphasize that specifically with grief and loss, when you are suffering the loss, a life-changing loss, uh, a death of a loved one or uh, some a divorce or some other major loss in your life that has just rocked your world or however you want to put it i believe it's definitely affecting your physical body somehow my uh, two examples that i can mention that were definitive things uh, after my daughter died in 2020 i already had uh, digestive issues and immune system issues i already had my thyroid out and that's a definite issue and so after she died, I went from being gluten free and had been for quite a few years on a mostly very low sugar diet due to candida and ended up that now I had a problem with rice because of all the stress and trauma and the grief. And I became, had to become what we call now grain free, which, you know, is, does not mean there's no carbs whatsoever, but it, it eliminates things like even rice, and et cetera. So that was a change in my body. I now had a problem with what was being fine for me before that. And another thing that happened is I never had allergies before this. And now all of a sudden I began to have allergies and I can't, I have not gotten tested. I can't tell you all of what they are, but I definitely have environmental allergies, outside allergies. And I'm big time into being outside. I believe that's an important part of our health is not just being cooped up inside or in one place all the time. Didn't plan on saying that one first, but that's one of the areas I wanted to just touch on today. So that 
I still do it, but I notice I, I do get more nasally or maybe cough more when I'm outside, um, depending on the environment. So that's two new things that happened after the loss of my daughter that affected my body. Just wanted to share that. So maybe you can recognize ones in your life as well. And that means we need to work on our physical health. I'm going to take a sip of my water here. <clears throat> and so the first, another area I wanna talk about is hydration. See this water, if you notice carefully, it is Excuse me, as I was saying, um, if you look closely, this water has bubbles in it and may look even a little cloudy. I don't think it's cloudy at this point. Um, it does, it's actually healthy. Um, this water actually has antioxidants in it. It's a machine I have. But I'm not gonna go into that right now, but um, water is what most of our body is made up of. And our brain, by the way, is made up of even more water than the rest of our body. All different parts of our bodies are made up of different percentages of amount of water, but every part of our body is made up of water. And most of it, the majority of what we're made up is water. So we have to, and most of us do know we have to stay hydrated, but I'm just here to remind you, it is so important to be hydrated. And it is an, a big element in grief and loss. And when you go through major loss, sometimes you, you don't eat as much, you don't wanna eat as much, you don't think about drinking as much, you're just either in bed, you know, depressed or sad, or you're running around trying to take care of things to resolve uh, as a part of that loss or death. So I want to remind you that it is very important to hydrate and be um, water, mostly water, and in your diet. It doesn't mean you can't drink other things too, but mostly water, okay? And so it's very important. So I wanted to show, I brought some physical things in here to demonstrate today remind us that that is so crucial it is we can die quicker and only a few days after not having any kind of water or liquid intake versus we can go on days and days without food so that's the way God made our bodies okay another thing is is our diet what we eat so what I brought in here for that is a kiwi because that is the main fruit that I eat um, not every day, but it's, it's a regular thing that I eat. Sometimes I put it in my shake in the morning or I just eat it separately. Um, I chose kiwis quite a while ago when I realized they have less sugar in them and yet they're very high in potassium and of course vitamin C and other antioxidants. So they're high in nutrients and high in potassium, which is so important, especially in the summer and when we're sweating and working out and exercising, we have to replenish with not only water, but uh, potassium and salt and things like that. So we've got to get uh, have a proper diet and a healthy. It's important to have a healthy diet. If we have a healthy diet, we're going to do better. When we take the time to eat right or to eat and, and take our time eating, not eating fast, and taking a break from work while we're eating. Uh, there's other things I can go into, but I won't go on and on about. And eat properly and even eat things that we enjoy as well. That is self-care. Okay, so that is another very important part I want to touch on. Uh, nutrition, I just wrote that down as a name. And so I brought in my, my present to multivitamins. Our diets don't always get enough of everything we need. And um, I have bone issues. I, have, I actually have osteoporosis at my age of 55. Um, and it ends up that goes back to childhood, according to my doctor. Um, I'll be getting another bone scan and, and next year and see how it is but bottom line um definitely i need extra calcium and most of us need extra and we could use extra we don't have to so supplements can be good but we still need to make sure we eat it in our diet <laughs> okay so i just want to touch on that that's like having the proper diet and nutrition and enough of it right and so another thing is sleep and rest <laughs> I'm not going to put this all the way on, but I brought this in. Um, I never used to use these things, but I, I realize how important it is to have it as dark as possible when I sleep. And at home, I have that pretty well with pretty dark blinds and also drapes that are not um, your darkest level because we all have levels and different drapes now and so forth, which is nice, um, but it definitely blocks out most of the light. We have a sunlight in our bathroom. Uh, I try to close it most of the way. 
so that it's not blaring in in the morning unless I need it to, what have you. Or even at night it can. So I, I we unplug our TV, my husband and I, so there's no lights on the TV. We keep our phone far away. We try to make sure there's not any mechanical lights or whatever you want to call them as well. So that's eat, having good sleep. I could do a whole series on sleep, right? I, I just want to mention that. Your sleep is so important. Your rest is so important. Exercise. So I brought in my little weight here just to show you. Uh, I need to do more of this and this will help my bone. This will help my muscles. This will help my heart, right? It helps a lot of things and it can help your bones. So that's why I need to do more of the, when I walk, take the weights with me and I lift them above my head and do different motions and it's, it's good um, because I can't, it's not good for me to lift too much weight because of my back issues. But that's what I brought in for that exercise. Our God made our bodies to walk. If we are not walking much because of, of our jobs or what have you, we need to walk. Even if we have a cane, even if it's a walker, whatever it is, we need to walk. We were made to walk. Okay. It's only our society today that has not caused us to do that. So even though I'm in a small house and I work from home and I do a lot of sitting to do my work, I like get up and I take breaks and I make sure I do once an hour we should, most two hours, not even two hours should be, just like in our car, we should be getting and taking a break and taking a walk. But I get up and I go do a chore and I get up and move around and then I go sit back down. So that's so important. Another thing um, is checkups and doctor's appointments. I do believe that's important. Doctors don't know everything, um, but that's the things we can do. Blood work yearly is very important to make sure everything's good in our blood and things like that so i won't go on and on about that but i do believe that's important and you know hey if you get it all done and nothing's wrong you're good you know you're good right but what if there's something going on that you don't know what's going on and that happens to a lot of people where they all of a sudden they think they're fine and they just all of a sudden have fourth stage cancer or something we don't want that nobody wants that we don't want that for you either so i think that is really important another thing is medication if you need medications then you need to take your medications. Medications can be life or death, or they can be, um, you know, even mental uh, medications that are important, that are helping you cope and deal with life, uh, maybe for the rest of your lives or maybe for just for a short time. So medications, and if you have to, you need to take them regularly. I have no thyroid. I have a scar here because I have no thyroid. I'm not going to go into why I got it out, um, but it did seem to be deemed necessary and medically they told me so. So I did. And so I'm dependent on hormone replacement medicine. So I, my, I have two that I need to take and I'm constantly, when my weight goes up and down, I've had to change it. Now I'm on a lower dose because my weight's down. And so this is very, very important for me. Would I die without it? Um, don't know technically if I went out for a long time, but I would be miserable and I would be non-functional. <laughs> I know that much. So, you know, medications can be important. And I mentioned sun sunlight and nature. So if, if I've missed any of them that you're thinking of, please tell me in the comments because I love comments. And I try to always read them and get back, get back to you because I care. You know, and um, so the scripture I want to share today is from 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 and 20. It says, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? If you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and even if you don't know what that means yet, and you don't have a relationship with God yet, you are still made in his image. But he, when he lives inside of you and you're saved, he does live inside of you. Your body is a temple, a place of worship. A temple is a place of worship. Literally, God is saying there, you are a place of worship. And that, that place, as, as in any church building, needs to be taken care of. It shouldn't be falling apart. It should be taken care of, right? And same with your body, your house, your your temple. The, the, the house is who you are and, and also the Holy Spirit. And then it says, you are not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Honor God with your body. I believe that's part of what we, you know, we need to do because then we can serve him better. We can 
help others. We can function. We can take care of our families. We can, um, being the mother or father we're called to be, we can help others. I mean, we can do the jobs we've called to do, et cetera, et cetera. So you're important. And my time's out for this. I hope this spoke to you, reminded you of something, encouraged you, because I want to encourage you to take care of your body and take care of yourself physically. And think of the things, write down some things that you are doing and maybe pat yourself on the back. Good job. I'm doing good with exercise maybe, but maybe I'm not so good, doing so good with nutrition or whatever there is. Um, or I just am not sleeping good. Well, that's huge. Maybe you need a different bed. Think about what you need to do about your sleep or to prepare yourself for sleep. There's something in self-care that you could do to prepare yourself to be able to better go to sleep. So think about self-care with your body and um, stay tuned next week for another one of the areas. And please uh, like this video. It helps it to like it so more people can see it and benefit from it. God bless you, Julie Kay, helping you find your way. Bye-bye.